Okay, Auntie, what qualifies your car as an Indian car? <laughs> it gets us around! <laughs> gets us around and it looks pretty rusty, don't <laughs> As my oldest daughter uh, I used to hide in the back seat when we were going down the highway because our car was so rezzed up. And then when you could, uh, when you went down a highway, you, you you had to be careful of where you put your feet because you could see the highway going down the, there was kind of like no baseboards <laughs> there. Very loud. Over <laughs> Dirty. Bullet holes. It's parked on uh, Bloomington Avenue and 24th Street. The car got shot. This one here belonged to my son to begin with, my my oldest son, and he bought it from somebody that was from the Leech Lake or from the um, Lax Band, and he sold it to my son, and then my son sold it to my husband. It has been sitting right here ever since. It's not running. My big dogs chase us cars that ride by. Look at this blue tarp lies the heart of a good Indian car. It was a yellow van that went everywhere. It went to lots of cow walls. It went all over the place. Went racing, went straight net. And the reason it's not in the van anymore is because there was a lot of...